Prince Charles is actually the one in the middle. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Yo, what is this picture? I'm not gonna say nothing. Milk duds. That's all I'm gonna say. Yo! Yo, 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 welcome back to my channel. It's Girl Big Dirty. How you guys doing today? I'm doing so well. Thank you so much for asking me, guys. How are you? Good morning. It is literally 6 a.m. where I'm at because I'm very much a morning person. And you might think, oh, Big Dirty, what's wrong with you? Why are you up this early? What's going on? And listen, okay, I like to be up before the sun comes up. It's quiet. The air is still fresh. People are asleep. I, it's, it's too noisy. It's too much. People are too much later on in the day, okay? I like this. It's time to just do this. And then I could just be all hyper on my own, you know? I also have the most energy in the morning. I'm not a night person. Last night, I was asleep by 8.30. I'm not even kidding you. You want to know why? Because I'd be going in, yo. I'd be going in, yo. Come through, yo. Pull up. Do some. You won't. Uh, we got Norm McDonald roasting black people. I know a lot of you think I'm white, which I still, still don't understand how, but um, I think that's like your wishful thinking. Yo, chill. No, no, honestly though. Um, <laughs> I'm not white. I'm uh, very, very not white. I am uh, closer to black than I am to white. So uh, on that note, let's see if this video triggers me, you guys. Okay, uh, enjoy. Shh, quiet, I'm playing. That is not black enough. <laughs> the two men have decided to settle their differences with an old fashioned game. Like, do, do they mean like not black enough as in behavior or? Yo, chill. <laughs> the two men have decided to settle their differences with an old fashioned game of who cannot catch a cab. <laughs> <laughs> And now a correction to a story we ran last week. Prince Charles is actually the one in the middle. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Yo, what is this picture? I'm not going to say nothing. Milk duds. That's all I'm going to say. Yo, chill. I'm just kidding. You guys, it's just, I'm not white. It's okay. And also, like, yo, chill. Uh, don't cancel me! I'm just playing! We apologize for that. In game one of the Western Conference Finals between the Mavericks and the Thunder, Magic Johnson said that Dirk Nowitzki is playing like he has three legs. Which is a nice way of saying he's playing like a black guy. <laughs> Fish chose his victims. He only chose victims who were either mentally handicapped now, don't laugh at this next part, please. But you know he wants you to, right? No, if you laugh at this next part. Okay. And I'm not this show's victims were either mentally handicapped or African-American. Okay. Oh, come on. Why would you think that's funny? God damn, Fred. <laughs> Why is that funny, though? Jesus Christ, that is the worst part of the story. <laughs> Denver courtroom this week. He's being sued by a woman who claims the pop star stole her song Dangerous. Here with a comment is update correspondent Norm McDonald. Norm? This 40-year-old woman claims that Michael stole her song. Now ask yourself, where would Michael Jackson come into contact with a 40-year-old woman? <laughs> he hangs out with young boys. He's a child molester for guys. Yo! In Colorado, okay, I just want to say something real quick. I don't believe that Michael Jackson was a child molester. Loki, I know this is like a like fun light video, but like high key, I don't think he was. I think he was castrated at a young age, and I think that he was mentally from all the trauma that he's been through. Like he found connection in like like having young people around him. But I really don't, I don't think that he actually molested or anything like that. And I'm pretty sure, didn't they come out and say that they had lied or something like that? I don't know. I just, I don't believe it. I don't believe it for a second. I never really did. It just didn't make sense to me. Bob Dole warned that if Pat Buchanan is the Republican nominee, the party might lose both the presidency and control of Congress. In response, Buchanan warned that if anyone other than himself becomes president, Blacks will retain the right to vote. 
<laughs> in the wake of the verdict, angry Menendez defense attorney Leslie Abramson said the jury simply chose not to believe the brother's excuse that they had been sexually abused by their father and says she knows why. Quote, it's because my clients are black. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? President Obama is a phenomenal player of basketball for a president of the United States. But I think he's just mediocre for a black guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In Nashua, New Hampshire this week, a high school student, Chris Conley, while attempting to dunk a basketball, lost his balance, crashed down on the rim, and shattered two front teeth. Gee, I wonder if by some crazy chance Chris is uh, white. <laughs> <laughs> One time I was hosting and there was three guys. I've never hosted. How many times have you hosted? Just one time. It was a mistake. Three uh, uh, guys doing music. You yeah. Know? So, uh, so who they have on? Very hip So they had kids. they had hip guys that I should everyone else knew except me. It was Snoop Dogg. He yeah. just changed his name and he was angry because I kept getting a crime. Mm -hmm. He used to be Snoop Doggy Dogg. The Snoop Dogg oh. and Eminem and Dr. Dre. So That's a pretty me, heavy lineup. Yeah, though. but to me, it was two black guys and a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I go to introduce them. They were all standing under. They were all standing like in. in My that was Francis Farmer. They, they were, were about to go up and take me with them. <laughs> they were standing in uh, rap positions, as you know, like uh, <laughs> like like against. And yeah. I'm about to introduce them. So they were standing in that rap position where yeah. it looks like. They'll either start singing rap or pull a gun and, sh and kill you. <laughs> this is the whitest thing I've ever heard. Like, it's so white. They're standing in the rap position. What is the rap position where they start rapping or pull a gun? Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's so white. Oh, I can't, y'all. Oh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. That was just so white. Like, so white and I hope he's doing that on purpose god I hope that was like an on purpose thing good lord so, uh, <laughs> so then I go as a joke I look at him because I remember this is kind of a letterman -y thing to do but I go fellas are you ready are you ready <laughs> which forces them to go like, like uh, sh <laughs> shake their heads slightly <laughs> even though they're in this crazy dangerous <laughs> Oh, up. <laughs> up. So I thought that was funny. But uh, then I learned later they were geniuses and I should have befriended them. Right yeah. <laughs> I was just talking to Dre backstage. I don't know if he's a real doctor, but he did prescribe me some stuff. Uh, Yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, before we continue, I have an announcement for the management. With the owner of a Glock 9 with the inscription, Two Puppy with Love, please pick up your gun. Yo. It's at the hospitality suite. Well, let's get to O.J. O.J. Simpson's lawyers say they don't want the families of Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman in the courtroom during the trial. They're afraid the presence of the family members will just remind O.J. of how much more killing he still has to do. <laughs> Yo! Chill. This week as America marked the 50th anniversary of Jackie Robinson's entry into Major League Baseball, there was a sobering reminder that racial prejudice in sports is not yet a thing of the past. In a shocking move, today, all but one of the 125 playing members of the Professional Golf Association has signed a petition to ban African-American golfers from the tour. <laughs> okay, real, real quick, you guys. I started golfing for the, la for the first time three weeks ago. And it's just top golf. Like I haven't gotten on a field yet. When I tell you, I have been humbled because I always gave golf such shit. I'm just like, what a boring sport. What is this? Like you just hit a ball. Okay. Hitting the ball is actually a lot harder than I thought. I ain't gonna hold you. The amount of this that I did with no contact was crazy. It made no sense. I was like, it's right in front of me. How am I not hitting this? I don't understand Joe Rogan. It made me like, it, 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 I don't know. But then eventually I got better. I went like three times and I'm, and I'm getting better. I think I got like 10 feet. No, nay, 11. 11 feet was the highest. Bad. That's not bad. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Except when I look around, I see people looking at me and I'm like, stop looking. I just started. 130 years after the Civil War, the state of Mississippi has finally voted to abolish slavery. Representatives say they would have liked to have done it sooner, but uh, they were delayed due to some awfully big cotton crops. 
They had to. That's a hung on a big cotton thing. All right. This is fucked up. That's fucked up. Nah. <laughs> Nah, nah, that's fucked up, yo. Why he doing them like that? Yo, I knew some fucked up shit as soon as he said it was delayed. It's just it fucked up, yo. I ain't gonna hold ya. Mercy. The Reverend Jesse Jackson has called for a boycott of the movie, claiming that not enough black people in the film are killed by tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> President Clinton was in Austin, Texas last Monday, the day of the Million Man March. The president said in a speech, I am here to speak to you today because right now in Washington, D.C., there's like a million black guys. Wait, what? <laughs> Show Oklahoma City second round NBA playoffs. Great dunk from Westbrook, though I'd be more impressed if he weren't young and black. Moscow Roy Jones Jr. is down. Boring. <laughs> If I wanted to see an old black guy get punched in the face, I'd look out my window. Yo! Conference final in Miami, and LeBron crushes Kyle Cover in transition. Always shocking when a black guy running forward is faster than a white guy running back. Oh he my God! Who was expected to face disciplinary action by the LAPD may get off lightly. Under the terms of a controversial plea bargain, the charges against him have been reduced to quote. One count of using the word darky. <laughs> so bad. This is so bad. I was happy at the level that he took it. I'm happy he didn't take it further than that. You know what I mean? I also don't know how much further he could take it. So, <laughs> but, um, dude, looking at all of these, a lot of these clips, like, it's quite old. Like, 90s, 2000s, it seems like. Or maybe mid-2000s. But I feel like the jokes now would be a little bit different. But I don't even know if he could make these jokes now. Like, do you think if he made these jokes now, he would get canceled? I think it would depend on the audience. But, um, yeah, I hope not. Like, I think, I think, surprisingly, like, black people, brown people, um, don't get really offended too, too much. And I, I kind of, like, appreciate that. Um... And I think that's why maybe if he made jokes like that now, it's not so bad. Like, I think it's whatever. A lot of... I'll be honest, I feel like white people are the ones who get really offended the most. Uh, especially, like, white women. So, um... Which still doesn't make any sense because it's just comedy. Like, it's just... It's not so supposed to be serious. Like, everyone knows it's a joke. I just don't understand if they understand what a joke is. You know? Like, the definition of it. Who knows? Anyway... Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Give me a high five. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Oh my God. Tell me if you want me to see any more bits of Norm McDonald that maybe he's roasting other types of people. Who knows? Does he have like a, like a whole selection of just like roasting people? Um, but, um, yeah, I, uh, again, I'm not very sensitive to like racial jokes. Uh, I quite appreciate them because I think it gives us like a chance and a space to laugh and just be silly and not take things so seriously. Uh, obviously I feel like there can be a line with a lot of things, but if it's a comedy space, then I think we should respect that as a comedy space. Um, anyway, I'm not going to keep talking in circles about how I think cancel culture is and how, where we've gotten to as a society and like with comedy, but uh, yeah, this was great. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, so I am a lot more active on OnlyFans. Again, those of you who don't know what, what I do on OnlyFans, it's mainly I do vlogs, any reactions, any full stand-up uh, comedy reactions or bits that get, um, blocked by YouTube. I'll post it on there. Um, it is free for you to join my membership and yeah, it, it's great. So this morning, you know, I just posted, uh, me going to get some Starbucks and me just waking up and all that stuff. Like, I'll kind of do some vloggish things. And as I'm moving forward, um, I will be doing, I might be going some places and I will be definitely doing vlogs over on there as well. So if you want to see a little bit a different side of me other than just the reactions, um, that's usually what I post on there. Sometimes I'll do like workout hauls, like gym clothes haul, clothes hauls. Ugh, can't even talk. 
stuff like that. So as a reminder, those of you who are not aware or you're not sure what I do on there, that's what I do on there. And on that note, thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you next time. Bye. I love you.